What it is, gunslingers. This is a news update from GTA series videos. You know me, Gary7MT, and this show is all about the big Red Dead Redemption 2 announcement. To be honest, this is a good news, bad news kind of thing. Rockstar Games has announced that Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming on October 26th, 2018, moving it back from their spring 2018 release. I know, I know, this is the second delay for the new chapter of Rockstar's Western title, originally announced for fall 2017. Both times, the reason is the same. Rockstar needs more time to polish up the game and bring it up to the high standards of the company. No doubt the continued success of GTA Online, which by the way in December 2017, saw the highest number of players and largest income from microtransactions since its launch, is making the decision to shift attention to a new franchise for both Rockstar Games and Take-Two. Difficult, but there you go. As players of GTA Online for years, we would really appreciate a fresh new game to play. Nevertheless, it would be extremely stupid for Rockstar Games and Take-Two to move away from the global success that is GTA Online to a title with a lower appeal and smaller market for young players, like Red Dead Redemption 2. The Western title as it is also doesn't seem to offer the structure necessary to apply an economic model similar to GTA Online's, which is undoubtedly the monster success of both companies. This delay is nothing new. In the past, Rockstar has announced release dates for games postponing them two or more times. October 26, 2018 by the way, looks like the day that we might finally get our hands on the game. Rockstar tends to keep release dates once a specific day is marked, but keep in mind, titles like Max Payne 3 and L.A. Noir both had specific release dates that were also postponed. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny! Together with their new delay apology, Rockstar released seven gorgeous screenshots of the game to, I guess, make up for ticking us off. In the first image, we can see a posse moving towards our main character, Arthur, who is blocking their path. The main focus of this image are the lights, shadows, and evolution of the volumetric effects that create the area's credible mist. In the second shot, Arthur's in front of an exploding building, reminding us of a brief cutscene in GTA V. In this scene, we can see how the explosion launches hundreds of wood splinters and debris into the air and whilst Arthur blasts at some off-screen target, we can see for the first time he's wearing a completely new hat, one of the things that helped us distinguish characters. Here's a spectacular vista of the world we'll live, breathe, and fight in when RDR2 hits our consoles. Also interesting is how Arthur is walking holding the reins in his hand with the horse following him. If this is something we can actually do at will or a predetermined action that happens while doing something else, like getting down from your horse or setting a campsite, is unknown. Probably the best image of all. Here we can see many of the kinds of details that makes Rockstar the stars they are. The snow on the coats of Dutch and Arthur, the two focused characters in front of the rest of the posse, and how it covers their boots and pants. The pine branches in the background bowed from the weight of snow and the snowflakes populating the screen. We can even perceive the frigid conditions thanks to the horses rapidly condensing breath in the air making little clouds of vapor. And while we're on the subject of horses, we can see how moving into the snow creates a trail and that explains where the seventh member of the group is, on the right in front of Arthur, judging by the trails on the bottom right of the image. Another explosion with hundreds of splinters all over the scene. This time Arthur is on the ground, like the lady on the right, while two guys guard the door. This could be a cutscene from a bank heist with the doors of the safe being blown off to nab the goods within, but that's just our best guess. Here we're on the prairie with the unknown woman we saw in the second official trailer of RDR2. In the background, we can see deer and amazing scenery depicting the world of the game. It features clouds so realistic you'd swear they held rain. The last shot is a classic for all westerns. It's the golden eye, 
and the silhouette of Arthur and his horse are perfectly in line with the sun. Also important to note is the number of little bugs and birds all over the screen and background. In the coming weeks, we're going to see more of Red Dead Redemption 2, from screens to trailers and info coming from Rockstar Games. And, if nothing happens before August, don't be surprised if another delay is announced. In the meantime, rumors, theories, and speculation will emerge from the internet. And, as always, users from the GTA forums and over at Red Dead Network will separate fact from fiction as best they can. As of now, the latest info worth mentioning comes from voice actor Douglas Taro, who apparently confirmed that he will have a recurring role in Red Dead Redemption 2. And of course, this info was promptly removed from his website and IMDb. Another tidbit comes from Efreet, who pointed out that Patrick Clark, a former Rockstar employee, has worked on RDR2 on various aspects, one of which includes photogrammetry. This is a fairly new technology that is able to generate fully textured, high poly models from an array of photographs. The greatest example of what is achievable with this technology are the worlds and backgrounds viewable in Star Wars Battlefront, a game that used photogrammetry a lot. And that's all we got for this little vid, folks. For all the new updates on Red Dead Redemption 2, Grand Theft Auto, and more, keep following us on Twitter. Facebook and Instagram. If you want to chat with other fans, you can also join us on our official Discord server. From GTA Series Videos, this is Gary Seven Baby, riding off into the sunset.